Hello all. So, in the last few sessions we have started with unit 5 which is all about unsupervised learning. So, we have seen we have two types of unsupervised learning methods, one is clustering and the second one is association. We have also seen what is clustering and what is k-means clustering, one of the most important unsupervised machine learning algorithms. Okay. So, today in the session I would like to talk about how do we use or why do we use clustering for one important aspect of deep learning or machine learning which is image segmentation. Okay. So, when I talk about event segmentation, it is nothing but the classification of the image into different groups. Okay. As you can see in the uh, picture here, we have different types of segmentations being done here. I take an image and I classify image into different groups that is the clouds, the upper part of the sky okay, and the uh, structure of that particular uh, 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 image building. Okay. So, in this image I can clearly see the results. Okay. I have different codings for different parts of the image. Okay. So, many kinds of research has been done on this image segmentation using clustering because clustering will actually give you the clear understanding of the image. So, there are many different types of uh, uh, methods we use for clustering and k-means clustering algorithm is one of that which will actually divide the image into different groups or different segments. Okay. So, when we talk about image segmentation actually it is nothing but partition of the digital image into multiple distinct regions. Okay. Most probably when we talk about segmentation our medical diagnosis or medical applications comes into pictures. Okay. So, as you can see here I have the image of a brain. Okay. So, this particular image is converted into different regions, each region containing some pixels. Okay. Uh, and also set of some pixels which are also called as uh, super pixel of same attributes. Okay. So, we divide the regions based on the pixel values or based on some pattern such that will be able to for us to identify the patterns or underlying uh, information about that particular picture. Okay. So, the main goal of image segmentation is actually to change the representation of the image into something meaningful such that it will be easy for us to understand and analyze that particular image for further processing. Okay. So, when we talk about image segmentation, it basically uh, used to locate the objects and boundaries. Okay. Even if you have curves, lines or any kind of structures inside the image, uh, it will be easy for us to locate the objects and boundaries. Okay. So, more precisely when I talk about image segmentation, it is basically the process of assigning a label to every pixel in an image such that all the pixels of the same label or same characteristics are assigned into a group. Okay. Now, when I talk about image segmentation using clustering, okay. so we have already seen about clustering. Now, we will link how do we do image segmentation using clustering. Okay. Basically, this is a technique that involves partition of image into different segments, making it easier to analyze or understand the clustering grouping pixel with similar characteristics. Okay. Now, when I talk about different popular techniques, we have k-means clustering, mean shift clustering, db scan which is density based spatial clustering and then we also have Gaussian mixture models, okay, Gaussian uh, methods. Okay. So, today in the class we will talk about, uh, we will see what k-means clustering algorithm is all about. Okay. So, basically it is an unsupervised learning algorithm. So, when I talk about a clustering or association, they are unsupervised learning methods. Okay. So, k-means clustering is an unsupervised algorithm which is used to segment the interest area from the background. Okay. So, we have lot of images or pictures in the background. So, I just want to pick up the interested areas from the background or we call them as clusters or partitions and we divide them into k means or k number of clusters okay, based on k centroids. Okay. So, basically this algorithm is used when you have unlabeled data. When we talk about unsupervised learning itself, we talk about unlabeled data that is the data without any defined categories or names or groups. Okay. So, the main aim of clustering algorithm or k means cluster algorithm is to find groups as you can see here in the picture clusters of customers. I have different customers, your careful customers, standard, target, careless, sensible, centroids. Okay. So, say, uh, uh, sensible. So, I have these five classes of customers. I divide them into different groups and apply centroids such that will find out the nearest k number of uh, uh, values and depending on the centroid and I will find, I will group them into different clusters. Okay. So, these are the steps that you follow when you talk about k means algorithm. First, we have to choose the number of clusters k. Okay. How many number of clusters do I actually want to divide the data into? 
okay after that we'll select some random k points that is the centroids and then assign each data point to the closest centroid that forms k clusters compute and place the new centroid of each cluster and reassign the data point to the newest centroid if any reassignment took place go to step 4 otherwise the model is ready okay now when i talk about image segmentation steps okay so we convert the data we convert the image data to a 2d array first okay where each row represents a pixel and each column represents a feature okay so this is what we first do and then we will set the number of clusters we have already seen how do we do uh, you know clustering algorithm right so second step we set the number of clusters third we run the k-means algorithm and then fourth if your results are not as per this thing as per your requirement we will replace pixel values with the cluster centroid to create segmented regions okay so these are different steps that we follow when we talk about clustering for image segmentation okay so this is a simple code that i've put up for you to understand okay so first i import computer vision library numpy library and matplotlib library matplotlib for plotting computer vision library as all of us know you can read the images and when you're working on the images in real time we use cv library so first we'll read the image and then we'll convert the image into 2d of pixels as i told you the row represents the pixel values and the column represents the features of that particular image when i talk about rgb and then after that i'll define the criteria and apply k-means okay what criteria maximum criteria and all that and apply how many number of clusters do i want to take okay when you talk about defining the criteria you have to give labels okay so i am just giving the criteria and then i create my labels and then i create the centers for number of clusters i define k value that is how many clusters i want to create because depending on k value you have uh, the image getting more a uh, clearer way for us to analyze and uh, work on that particular image okay once i'm done with applying criteria i'll convert the centers back into uh, uh, normal units and then flatten the label so that i can apply that segmented image to the normal plot okay and then i'll display the results okay so as you can see i've taken a simple image of a kidney okay so this is the original image i have applied k is equal to 2 k is equal to 4 basically Th this image is all about applying k is equal to 4 that is number of clusters is equal to 4 so you can clear the blur division of that particular image not so in detail okay but when i increase the k means cluster to 8 you can see the more clearer picture of the original image would be displayed okay so depending upon how we take the value of k we have more clearer image okay so that but you should make sure that you doesn't take k value too high where the image would be broken okay so k value should be chosen sensibly first start with the smaller value of k and then if you are not able to visualize and analyze the image very clearly into different segments then slightly or gradually increase the value of k but not too high okay so we have different applications of clustering in image segmentation as i told you especially when we talk about medical imaging mri or ct scans we will be using clustering for object detection okay whenever we um, let's talk about tesla okay when tesla car is moving around it uh, it captures the surrounding environment of the entire locality where it is traveling but i'm not bothered about all that thing i'm only bothered about the path that my tesla car has to move so i have to remove all the extra things like trees or other dividers or any other road signs on left and right side but i just want to segment my uh, entire data into only the pathway such that my car travels well okay so this is one application of uh, uh, clustering that is object detection and then and satellite imaging also where use land use terrain classification from the top you use satellite imaging uh, is one uh, application of clustering photo editing also is one application of clustering anomaly detection using unusual patterns in the image is also another application these are this limited few applications that have specified but in fact clustering is mostly used in most of the real-time data processing or image processing applications okay thank you